Okay, in this video I will show how to optimize a function under some constraint with the Lagrangian multiplier method. And this is exactly the same uh, example that we saw in class during our first example class. So z is my function that I want to find the maximum of with respect to x and uh, y. And the constraint is uh, uh, the one that you see below it is 2x plus y is equal to 96. So uh, step by step, how do we do? We first, the first step is that of setting the constraint equal to 0. So you see our constraint, as I said, is 2x plus y equal 96. So I just take 2x plus y to the right hand side and uh, equalize that to 0. Now, once I have uh, performed that easy step, I, in the second step, I finally write down the uh, Lagrangian function. And uh, you will remember that the Lagrangian function is composed by two elements, okay? So our Lagrangian function, in our case, that I will uh, indicate with L, is simply the uh, utility function, or the function that I want to find the maximum of. Um, most of our case in our application for labor economics would be a utility function. And the budget constraint. And in front of the budget constraint, I, li I write lambda, which is our uh, Lagrangian multiplier. So you see, this is the utility function, or the function that I want to maximize. And then this is the budget constraint, or the constraint, and that is the constraint set to zero. Now, just as just some terminology, the uh, you, the function that I want to find the maximum for is called the objective function. That lambda there is the Lagrangian multiplier. Okay. Now, we can finally set the third step, and in the third step, I take the first order partial derivative of my Lagrangian function with respect to x, y, and lambda. So with respect uh, to my um, variables. Okay? So I, I will have three uh, separate um, conditions. Three separate first order conditions. So first let's take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x. This is the result. You can check it by yourself. Okay. Just scroll up and down whenever you can pause this video you can do that now the second uh, first order condition will be the derivative of the lagrangian function with respect to y and uh, this is the respective the right derivative check that by yourself okay the third first order condition third and last will be the derivative of the lagrangian function with, with respect to lambda and uh, you will notice that this derivative is equal to the budget constraint, and that's always true. Okay, it always it will always be that uh, with the Lagrangian multiplier method, the derivative with respect to lambda is the constraint of that you are imposed. So after I've taken first derivative, I set each of the three equal to zero, and then I solve. Okay, because I can solve because now basically I have a system. Uh, of a linear system of three equations in uh, three unknowns. And uh, we know how to solve that. You should know that from um, probably introductory mathematics or even high school math, actually. So we solve this system of equation. How do we do that? Well, there are many methods. One of those methods, the one that I'm using here, is that of isolating the, uh, the variables on one side so here you can see that I can isolate easily, very easily, lambda and y. After I've isolated lambda and y, I replace the, those, uh, I replace in the derivative for x, those, um, those equations instead of the uh, variables, okay? So you see here that I've simply plugged in the new values of lambda and y, which I've isolated, into the derivative for x, okay? Now, once I've done that is equal to zero, I simply solve this equation. And this is just a simple equation in one unknown, which is x, right? So I, my final goal is that of finding x. So you see simply here, I'm, multi I'm taking uh, terms out of parentheses by multiplying uh, by five. And then in the bracket, in the square brackets, within, I'm multiplying by four, okay? The 96 and the minus two x. Now there is only one bracket left. I also 
take all the terms within the uh, square brackets out by multiplying by 2. Okay, This should really be simple math for you. Now, if I've done this correctly, I can simply isolate all the terms with the axis on the right hand side and the rest on the uh, on the left hand side, sorry, the terms with the x and the rest on the right hand side. And I see that x is equal to 36. Now that I have obtained the value for x, I can simply replace that value in the equation for y. Remember that I have isolated y, and after I've done that, I have see that uh, y is equal to 24. And now, finally, I have uh, both a value for x and a value for y, and so I can f even find a value for lambda. And this is my final result. So y is equal to 24, x is equal to 36, and lambda is equal to 276. So this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this uh, video useful.